What's up everybody, this is Eric Ree Harry, and today we're going to be talking about super plasticizers or water reducers. These are additives that get added into your cement or concrete. Now, with cement, uh, once you add any type of aggregate in it, it becomes a concrete. Today I'll be doing an example with just cement. It'll just be Portland cement. But whether you have aggregates like sand or rocks mixed in, or you're just using your Portland cement straight like I'll be doing, you have um, a minimum hydration that the cement needs to, uh, to begin the curing process, which is a chemical process. It's not really a drying process, it's a curing process. And so your cement will get to its maximum strength with the minimum hydration water. So the more water you add, the weaker your cement becomes. But the reason we add water is to make your cement more workable. Because if you add the minimum hydration, you'll have like clumpy cement. And it'll be hard to work with that, especially if you're trying to do any type of forms, you know, it becomes difficult. So you wanna, you add water to make it more workable. Now, another way to make it more workable is by adding a super plasticizer or water reducers. Now behind me I have here the Sika Viscocrete 4100. This comes in a liquid form. I've also had super plasticizers that come in powder form. Uh, just adding the smallest amount of this stuff to a bag of cement will make it like loose. So that's what I'll be demonstrating for you here now. So for <clears throat> One 94 pound bag of cement, or 92 pounds, uh, four gallons is really the uh, minimum amount of water you need to hydrate a 92 or 94 pound bag of cement. So I'm gonna add uh, three gallons, mix it up, and then add a fourth gallon as we mix. I'm only using these to demonstrate the exact amount of water I'm adding. I'm using the double paddle mortar mixer and you can find this on my Amazon link on the Aircree tools. This gray model, this is the difference between the gray model and the orange one. And the difference is the direction the paddles spin or rather the directions the, the paddles are designed. So with this model, when it spins, it's pulling material up from the from the bottom so it has a pulling up motion i have another um, double paddle mortar mixer that has an opposite uh, spinning direction and that pulls the material down so i find it good to have both actually for mixing aircrete or these um, any type of cement mix the latex the epic mix it's good to have both because i find i switch between the two because you know your Portland cement wants to stay to the bottom stuck so this is great to pull it up but when you're mixing air creep you also want to pull push your foam down so I recommend having both but if you're going to pick one pick this model here it's the gray one I don't know the name but it's on my Amazon link and um, you can find that there so I'm going to mix up the cement that I put in here see that's just your cement there and um, there's enough moisture to be able to squeeze it into a bowl and hold its shape so I normally add four gallons of water but uh, I'm curious to see if this will work with just three gallons of water I've never done this before so we're experimenting
I'm eyeballing this. It's about an ounce. I don't know why anybody think there's any funny business going on here. Okay, so let's see. We got this dry mix. One more time. I normally have four gallons of water, but I'm curious to see if this will work. So we're going to just add this is about an ounce of this uh, Sika Visco Crete 4100 mixture. Add mixture. Okay, this is a really dry mix, but I can see it is working, that little bit I put in there. But we need to add more water. So this is another gallon. This would make four. I'm going to add about half of this. Okay, that's about half. So it's three and a half gallons of water in here. see now the way the cement is I promise you if you add three and a half gallons of water to a bag of cement the way I did it will be clumpy the way you saw it before and so by adding that plasticizer you get your cement to look as if you added a ton more water your cement or your concrete so this is just a quick example of what super plasticizer does to cement so again the reason you want to do that is because this once it cures will be a lot stronger than the same cement that you got to this consistency using just water and um, also this is a part of my latex mix without which I'll be talking about in another video where I add this plasticizer and the uh, the uh, latex bonding agent into uh, cement you know whether it's Portland cement or concrete and I get a waterproof super strong uh, cement that cures really quickly as well so anyway this is just a quick video to show you super plasticizer uh, again I get from Sika uh, the Visco Crete 4100 they have a number of different uh, models, different types of water reducers. And um, I've tried them all. And this 4100 here is the best one. It's the strongest. So for the least amount of liquid, you can get the most, you know, uh, plasticizer or, or, you know, you're making it super loose. So anyway, that's it for now. Peace out. This is Air Cree Harry, and I'll catch you later.